Hey, it's Dave. I'm out there on the range and uh, gonna shoot my um, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 Sport. And so it's 22 long rifle and um, it's got a lot of neat little features. And so I'll point a few of them out. It's got an adjustable stock. So you can adjust it to the different size of individuals shooting it, different like the pull. It's got a lot of similarities to an M&P, but this one came with a Smith & Wesson red dot on it. It uh, has red or green option. Um, it has the um, rail across the top. And so, uh, so you can put any kind of things you want on this, like I would like to put um, sights on it. Um, so I have an option in case the red dot doesn't work. So anyways, but I haven't done that yet. Um, it's got a muzzle brake. Um, it acts and functions a lot like the M&P 15. Um, charging handle, um, where the um, release is to drop the magazines, where your um, safe and fire is. Um, all that is fairly similar. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's a blast to shoot. I'll, uh, put the full amount of specs like I usually do in on the, on this video. And, um, anyways, looking forward to shooting it. I'm shooting, uh, some more of that, uh, um, Aguilia, um, 22 Super Extra. It's a 40 grain, uh, 22 round that I have. And so... Like I was in a previous video, I was talking about how that was what was up next in my inventory because it's been sitting there a while. So, anyways, that's what I got, and that's what we'll be shooting. Um, got some uh, similar targets that you're familiar with down there. Got some clays and um, steel targets, um, and so most of that's what I'll be shooting. So we'll just go through some different stuff and uh, get it all worked out, and it should be fun. Because uh, that's what range time should be, right? Out here having a little bit of fun. Um, at least I do. I enjoy it. I hope you guys do too. All right. Give me a minute and I'll get things set up. We'll get to shooting. Dave out. All right. I'm do a couple from the tree. Ten over here next to woods. walk and stop and shoot one.
five and then do a magazine switch. I got a 20 or 15 in my pocket. It's a 25 round mag, but I only put 15 in it. Um, hey, if you've never shot something like this, I mean, this is a blast. You should try it. Um, it's in All right, let me get her going. Fifteen and twenty-two LR. Um, like I said, it acts and functions a lot like the M&P fifteen, um, except it shoots twenty-two. It's lighter, of course, it's lighter. Um, what was that? I think Buffalo Outdoors. He said the twenty-twos uh, of uh, the AR platform feel like toys compared to the to the um, the full size, um, which is. Oh, yeah, somewhat true when I compare it to my son's. But anyways, it's a blast to shoot. I like the uh, red dot I got on it. I do want to put some um, uh, sights on it myself to help. Uh, give an alternative, you know, uh, um, versus uh, relying only on the uh, um, red dot. So uh, anyways, I had a blast. I enjoy shooting it. It's a fun, fun rifle, and uh, I, enc I encourage you to experience it. If you're hesitant about shooting something that looks like this, try the 22 version. It's worth a try. Anyways, like I say, um, remember to make kindness your business. Uh, kindness is uh, something that uh, only takes a few minutes and a little bit of thought, and you can really change a person's day, and um, it'll help you. So. Uh, Anyway, that'd be my thought. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for doing that. And um, all right, till next time, Dave out.